everyone so today's video is going to be a little review kind of like a mini quick five minute thing on the new Jaclyn Hill palette from Becca oh, I love this thing I'm so excited to like kind of get in depth with it and I am very excited that it came in the mail today so I wanted to hop on and just kind of talk about it a little bit because it is beautiful it is perfect for the winter gift gift giving is that right the winter gift giving season Hmm. Anyways, it's great for presents. So um, I wanted to go ahead and just talk about this. So this is the packaging. It is super adorable. It has fingerprints all over it. Sorry, you guys. And um, it has the explanation of everything, um, you know, what it is down here. On the back, it's got what colors are in the palette, the little synopsis from Jaclyn Hill and her picture. And it's very similar to um, the Champagne Pop original that came packaging that was with the highlighter um, that she originally put out, not in the palette. So this is, if I can get it open, sorry. <laughs> So this one is Champagne Pop, the original, meaning that it was the um, one that she came out with um, solo by itself. And it looks like this. This palette is actually called, what is this called? Champagne Glow. So it's got three colors in it. It's got Champagne Pop and what else? Um, Pearl, which is brand new. And another one called, if I can, Copper. So this one is really beautiful um, packaging wise. I think that it's nice and it gives you a great synopsis of what you're gonna be getting in the actual package so the actual package looks like this it's got all of the information on the back and again it's going to tell you exactly what's inside it has the little plasticky thing um, to protect the product and it looks like this it's absolutely beautiful. These colors are just fabulous um, alone. They are beautiful together. They are just beautiful. And I love the fact that it's got a huge mirror. Hi. <laughs> so there is a huge mirror that you can use. Um, that is a very good thing for me just because I like to be able to kind of do what I want to do with the mirror. So Let's go ahead and swatch these bad boys. Um, this white one, um, this is the first time I've swatched these, so I'm doing this on camera. I wanted to do this so you guys can see my first reactions. I know what Champagne Pop looks like, so I'm always going to love that color, but I have never tried either of these, so we'll see how that goes. <laughs> so the first one is Pearl, and they have the same texture, quality, um, pigmentation, everything as the singles of the Becca highlighters. So this one is extremely white. Um, and it swatches very white and it looks like that as you sheer it out it definitely gives you more of a pearlescent color it's gorgeous um when it's probably all sheared out it's going to be really really nice for somebody as fair skinned as i am i don't think that this would be my first choice i would probably go for the middle color of course champagne pop and um this one would probably just be really nice underneath the brow bone if you are you know more on the fair side if you're on the medium to darker skin tones this would be beautiful sheared out give you a great glow you would look beautiful pop is perfect for everyone i have not said enough good things about it so i don't need to swatch that you guys already know and if you have not already known i'll put my champagne pop review down um and linked in the bar below so the next one this is a limited edition blushing copper right here so we're gonna go ahead and swatch this one with a different finger and again, the texture, the consistency is all the very same as the other ones that you would expect from Becca. And it looks, sorry, it looks like this. It's really pretty. Um, I think that this copper tone is something I probably will not be using very often. Um, it does look like this. Hopefully you guys can see that. There we go. It might be too, way too pigmented for my skin. Um, that does have a little bit of, you know, light skin tone medium skin tone and dark skin tone but I don't see myself using this very often if I sheared out a little bit it's still just a little too coppery for my liking I might use that as an eyeshadow instead that is definitely um, something that I am going to think about doing instead of actually using it as a cheek highlighter so you know we make it work <laughs> so that's definitely something that I am very excited to play with um, the colors overall and my overall thoughts on this product is I truly love the original Champagne Pop. I really truly use this all the time. I put it on in my tutorials. I use it in my everyday life. I get asked all the time what I'm wearing. Um, as for the, um, 
palette. I do like the fact that they gave you pretty good size um, amount of product. I don't feel like I would use more than just the Champagne Pop Original and maybe the Pearl, um, the Blushing Copper, I probably will not be using if, it, if at all. If I do, I'll probably do a tutorial on it using it as an eyeshadow. Um, but for the most part, for a gift, I think it's really nice. The price point is like 38 to 43 or something. I think it's like 36. $38 but with shipping and everything else it came to like 43 which is, I mean is for three highlighters is not too bad but I don't feel like this is a you know must have in your collection um, I think that if you go out or if you can get your hands on the original champagne pop you don't need to buy this um, because this by itself stands alone and has a, such a high quality and such an amazing product you don't need all the other stuff um, that kind of makes it what it is um, that's just me. Uh, if you don't have Champagne Pop and you want to get your hands on it and they don't, you know, you can't get the or the single anymore, but you feel like you have to have this in your life, go for it. But for me personally, I would stick with this one and would have not purchased this um, if I knew or if I got to play with the colors beforehand. Um, that's just my, that's just my opinion. Uh, please don't hate me for it. But don't get me wrong, Becca's products, highlighter, they're fantastic. I can't say enough good things, but for me personally, I would just stick with this one. All right, guys, I hope you guys like this. If you, if you have any additional questions, please let me know. I love hearing from you guys, um, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.